Hey everybody, <clears throat> Friday, another Friday, another week is rolling by. Um, I um, have received a lot of, um, not a lot, but some good feedback um, and comments regarding that interview that I sent a link to on here in Nebraska. Dan Sherman of uh, the band um, Deleted Scenes did a pretty intense interview with me a few weeks ago um, for a series on uh, that that website and um, I've listened to the uh, interview again myself and I'm, I'm glad that it went out just like it did it um, tells a, an important part of my story and I've actually heard through email and a couple calls from people unexpectedly from my past who didn't know um, my most immediate family and a few of my real friends, you know, all know my whole story. Everything that was in that, in the interview, they already knew, plus much more. But something really cool happened. A, a guy I went to prep with, to prep school with, who I don't associate with, but we're connected through Facebook. Um, I haven't seen this guy since high school, but he wrote me a long letter after I revealed the whole... Um, debacle with trying to be, become a priest and join the priesthood and going to a monastery. He didn't know about what happened when I went to the monastery. <laughs> so it was wonderful. Um, someone asked, I don't know who it was, but someone coming in and asked, so how do you feel now that you've revealed all of this to the public? I feel good. I feel strong and I'll tell you why. Because the world is f full of illusion and people are constantly trying to look like something they're not, which I think is destructive and immature and it hasn't helped things move forward at all. So, no, no, so you knowing that I ha have been, you know, uh, celibate um, by choice for going on 15 years it's the truth you know it's it's where I'm at you know you know it's people are pardon my f-bombs for you folks that are prudish because I like the word but there's a whole lot of fucking going on and not very much loving going on I can get sex all the time. That's not the issue. I don't want just animal sex. Some we, you know, it's necessary at times. But I, for one, have had more instances where, after going that far with someone, I want nothing to do with them. What's wrong with this picture? I don't know, but that's my experience. So I'm, so I'm being honorable to it. I stick to myself. I would rather respect you than use you to to jack off like i think a lot of people do a lot of people don't give a fuck about their sex partners you're just getting off i think i think all that sexual behavior um on an animal level has created a lot a lot of chaos on this planet now hear me out on the one hand um reproducing and having sex is as natural as the sun and everything else in nature but unlike the animals we have a brain that thinks so we can make choices okay that's the difference and um, <clears throat> I would just rather um, take care of myself than use people or be used and some of my sexual experiences even with women I you know after uh, how do I feel after it was all over? I felt used. Just like she got something, I got something, but I got used. Do I like that? No. And I'll state this again. Something that, that is taught by the Vedas, if I don't have it, if I've got it right. Uh, creating sexual energy, especially orgasm between two people, you create this energy that that bonds you. For no minimum, for no less than 120, 90 days, I understand it is. 90 to 120 days. And that's been my experience, you know. 
this idea that you can just pump on something and get up and walk away and and nothing happened and act like nothing happened well if you're that brain dead or soul dead I'm glad I'm not you is that a diss to people that are what I call sexually irresponsible yeah it is yeah it is go around, around just creating messes I may talk about music today, I may not. Um, it's just real apparent, and it always has been that while the, the, the purpose of making these videos to start with was music, I have a lot more going on to say than just about records. And I think my voice needs to be heard. It doesn't matter that I'm right or wrong. Right or wrong is subjective. I'm just expressing my, per my perceptions and my perspective. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong, I'm saying I need to be heard. This is what I see. I'm listening to Paul Horn inside. Paul, Paul Horn um, recorded this record, I believe, at the Taj Mahal, either in the l late 60s or early 70s. Again, a precursor to what you can call ambient music. This is a wonderful meditative piece of music. I also have out Paul Horn's Inside the Cathedral. I don't like this one nearly as much because it takes on kind of a, oh, slightly, uh, Catholic to me sound in the in the melodies maybe he's I haven't even looked maybe he's actually playing some old this is all Paul Horn stuff okay so I'll come to this again maybe I just listened in the wrong frame of mind um, another thing I thought was if I were a celebrity well let me two things first off Maybe some of you will understand now why I say that in ways I relate to Morrissey. Morrissey and I are not alike, but we're both very opinionated and he is openly celibate. So, and if I were a celebrity, someone in the news or someone that the paparazzi bothered, you know, that interview, that would be the one thing that they would be going nuts about, wouldn't it? Which to, again, to me just, just indicates the shallowness of, of the press and general thinking, you know. There's probably a lot of people that are celibate for no reason at all. Do I think that it's an unusual thing? Not at all. And then, um, if a priest who takes a vow, um, that's accepted, but if someone does it because they decide to do it, then it's something different. It just, to me, is just like, just shallow thinking, you know, I don't know. I'm really happy that I've been talking the way I've been talking lately. Um, it's got other people talking. Thankfully, it appears that a lot of the talk is mature, measured, and uh, trying to accomplish something, trying to communicate rather than stirring up feathers and uh, immature bickering. That happens, but that's not my, that's not my purpose in talking or bringing up issues at all. So if these videos help people to think more, question more, talk more, that's a good thing. It is not about you agreeing with me. That, that's just stupid. Um, I don't want to make a long video because then I'll be waiting hours so I can, um, I like to check in and see. I like to watch my videos back to see if I made a fool of myself again, you know, it's part of my neurosis. As, as clear as I try to be, I still am concerned. Well, did, did I look like a fool again? You know, of course the, the reality is no matter how well you present yourself, someone will think you look like a fool. The chances are that person is a bigger fool than you, which is why that's all they can see. 
And that has a lot to do with why I am unconcerned with criticism and negative uh, feedback because the, the negatives are a reflection of where they're coming from. And some people are just are just too stupid or dense or Im I don't know what to say, you know. It's just, there are a lot of people that are just mean or stupid and for some reason think there's a value in pushing it, pushing around. That was something I wanted to get to. Like, if you listen to the interview, and I encourage you to, I'll put the link again, <clears throat> where I talk about Genesis, the song, the cinema show, and the roles that men and women play in the world. You know, it's something I've struggled with, and, and, and I just think that many of the traditional roles that we've settled on for men and women are still subjective. It's not that they're really what we are. Like in many cultures, macho posturing and showing off and beating each other up to win favor of the uh, fairer sex. Well, I still say that's something that we haven't evolved from, but we can. We do it as animals, but we have brains, y'all. Yeah? So um, I, for one, do not think much of mach machismo and flexing. I like strength. But machismo and and flexing and popping off at people and fronting is not strength. It's fake as fuck. I mean, you can hurt somebody, you can kill people doing those things, but it doesn't mean that you're a strong person. It just means you're a means you're an asshole. We got a lot of them on this. We got a lot of people acting like assholes. A lot of them are in office, positions of power. Um making really selfish decisions that are just holding mankind down. I want to thank Trendkill for your comment. After you said that after listening to Flyover you that that you assess that I am part of the solution. Thank you. That's a nice that's a nice compliment. Um and that's right on. I am definitely trying to be part of the solution. Uh I got Flyover is this album, Son of Spears 2. If you got it, folks, you got a collector's item. This is pretty much sold out. I mean, you know, I got, I've got a few copies, but it's sold out pretty much. This I'm really, really pleased about. And I am closing in on the halfway mark. I made 500 copies of this baby. I dropped it last month. I've sold almost 250 copies of this album already. Once people get this damn thing, it speaks for itself, okay? And no, this is not background music for vocals. This is music for you to listen to. <clears throat> if you gotta have vocals to enjoy it, sing on it or rap on it, you don't own damn self. <laughs> Feel me, people, okay? You know, uh, break out of the... Uh, box you know you don't need vocals to to uh connect with this music you don't need vocals to find the human soul of this music just dive in just dive in free download too of the music um is on bandcamp the the links will be down here um the link to the interview too if you haven't listened to it i encourage you to you know 